TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 66. The Nasdaq is up 56. S&Ps are up 19 and a half. Uh, gold contracts down six dollars, trading at 1,084. You have silver flat at $14.58. Platinum's down $4 at $9.49. Light sweet crude up 68 cents, trading at $46.41. The bond market, you have the 10-year down 20 ticks, 126.20. 30-year off a point and a half at 155.14. In both cases, they are pulling back with lighter volume. King dollar. King dollar is up 76 ticks, 98.09. You have the euro flat at 108, and the yen is up 42 at 124.82. Volatility, folks, you're going to get volatility in spades. Um, you have the S&Ps open up 20, uh, Disney down 10, Dow can't make it, uh, NASDAQ is going after the last swing point. Fast volatility, all of the above. So we start with the S&Ps. What you're going to see out here today is this. The SPY, if we take a look at the SPY, the SPY had, has hit a high today of 111.09. Right now, you're at 110.72, and it looks like that this thing's going to run into and fail at the price point of only two days ago, which is the 110.24. If we take a look at the Actually, the E-minis, what you're going to see is that they push, push, push up into the highs, uh, yet it didn't get to the highs that were generated out here on the 31st. The high of the 31st was the 2109 level. You know, it basically went fast, furious, all of the above. Uh, now what you're going to see is that we're at 2101. This is going to basically try to run into the 97 mark, and we'll see uh, what happens as it starts moving lower. The NQs, okay, volatility inside the NASDAQ um, NDX 100, absolutely huge. Uh, this is what you have. The NQs got up into uh, the price point of 46.17. Uh, that did take out the highs that were generated out there uh, on the 31st of the 46.07. Inside that NDX 100, which putting the strength into the NDX 100 today, uh, is Activision. That's up 270. You get uh, QVCA. That is up 221. Cognizant Technologies up 480, and Priceline is up 65 dollars. Now, when you take a look at Priceline, what's going to be intriguing here is this: Priceline opened at a price point of 1382, went to 1393. You're trading at 1348. What Priceline has done since the open, uh, it's moving into lower price, and, and, and it's real possible that this is going to actually come back and fill the whole gap. And if that fills the whole gap, that's going to be a little, uh, not necessarily trouble in paradise for Priceline, but what it would do is generate lower prices coming at us in the future. Apple. What do we have with Apple? Apple yesterday had volume on the way down. Broke the 200-day moving average, did it with a vengeance. Apple uh, out here is flat right now. It got to a lower low. Bottom line, it has a high-volume spike intraday out here today. That is saying that you're going to see that come into lower price once again. Uh, King Dollar. What do we have with King Dollar? King Dollar is going after uh, its swing point. It has failed uh, the swing point once this morning thus far. The swing point we're talking about is the 98.31 level. Uh, it got to 98.33. Didn't have the juice to take it out. Uh, it's testing it up there again. It looks like, uh, once again, it's not going to have the juice, and you're going to have a failure uh, inside King Dollar as it goes into that swing point. What is that set up? The gold is down, but the actual gold stocks are moving higher, folks, and they, they got a little juice behind them this morning. So we'll see where that shakes out. The biggest information and the best information that we still have out here is the bond market. The bond market, bottom line, is pulling back with light of volume that says bonds want higher price. This 10 a.m. update is brought to you every day by EverBank. For more information on the products they offer, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN dash CD or call 855-750-4051. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look forward to speaking right back here tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock.
If you're looking for a great opportunity to diversify your financial portfolio, consider the Principal Protected Market Safe CD from EverBank. They've just released the second running of their five year Market Safe Power Metal CD, which combines the power of gold, silver, and copper. You get exposure to three valuable metals in one index CD and have the potential to earn up to 45% capped upside payment at maturity if the metals increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should they decrease? No worries. There's zero risk to your deposited principal here, as you still get 100% of it back. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on the CD. Intrigued yet? The August 17th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD. Everbank is a member FDIC.